Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're so glad you joined us. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Verde. All right, the first full week of the new year is almost over, and how you doing with those resolutions, baby? <laughs> Failing. I knew failing. you were going to say that, but I'm failing too. There you go. So we're in this together. We are. And speaking of together, we've got some motivation for your health and money goals like that. I like that. Plus travel tips and tips on moving forward with your next act. This is a new year and a new you. We're so glad you're here with us. It all starts right now. But I'm trying. You're trying. Are you ready for your second act? Well, we start the show with a woman who made a life-changing decision for the better. Take a look. So you may be saying, yes, I know it's a new year, but I'm still dealing with last year's problems. Well, if that's the case, we've got great news for you this morning. You may be in the perfect circumstance to make a major decision that could dramatically change your life for the better. You don't believe me? Wait till you meet my next guest. Love her. In 1997, while going through major personal change, Shanna Peoples made the life-changing decision to go back to college. And the rest, as they say, is history. Good morning. Good morning. So excited to have you. Thank you. All right, so you go back to college at what age? About 31. Wow. Yeah. And that's not an easy decision. Tell me what happened. You're uh, 31 and? I'm 31 and I decide that um, I'm a reporter and I'm covering schools and I'm in these, these schools. And the more I'm with these kids, the more I think I want to work with these kids, not write about these kids. And so I went back to school at, at West Texas A&M University and, uh, you know, wasn't I wasn't 18 anymore, right. and that was very apparent. You and, had children? Right, two kids and a single mom. And so, oh, yeah, gosh. very, very tough. So, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, two kids, a single mom, yeah. you know, you have so much to, to do and offer your children, finances for that matter. Right. It must have been frightening. It was, it was. And that's what, you know, that's, that's the great thing about a school that's, you know, small enough to feel like home, you know, but big enough to give you these great experiences, which is what happened for me. And I was the first person in my family to go to college. So uh. my professors were really kind of like champions for me. They were the ones who were able to say, go here, do this, you know, try this. And was it hard, Shauna, to, to kind of like reinvent yourself, if you will? Because oh, sure. again, you're not sure. 18. Sure. You're surrounded probably by teenagers. Oh, you're yeah. in a university. Yes. Well, and it's hard because you, you, it, it, that does sort of scare you a little bit, you know, but... I think that they make it very safe there. And, you know, that safety builds your confidence. It builds your, your you know, self-image. And you think, I can do this. This is something I can do. So you get your degree yeah. then at yeah. West Texas A&M. And then what? You become a? Seventh grade teacher, middle school. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Middle school. How was that? Um, scary. Really <laughs> scary. Way scarier than college. And uh, I cried every day my first week of teaching and thought I wanted to get my job back. <laughs> Um, and then six years later when I went to teach high school, I cried because I thought I'll never love anything. Like I love these kids. But yeah. fast forward, and I'd love yeah. my viewers to know this right now, fast forward years later, yeah. you are awarded the 2015 National yes. Teacher of the Year. Tell yeah, me about that that's... moment when you get the call. Well, it's crazy. I was actually in a meeting that was very sad. And so I got this call and I couldn't believe it. And then they said, but you can't tell anybody for six weeks because we've got to get things together. So it was like they said, we need you to swallow this helium balloon and act like everything's normal. Tell me about that day. You were with the president. Yes, it's really amazing because the president uh, brings everyone to the Rose Garden and it's 54 teachers, you know, from all of the territories and all of the states. And he really honors the work. And, oh. and, and you know, you can just see like everybody's smiling and everybody's so proud to represent this profession, you know, and yeah. then for him to call me out special is even more amazing. And then you had tea with him? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was, was that crazy. Like? Well, it wasn't planned, <laughs> and, and his security was not happy about it at all, at all. What so, was it like meeting him? He is amazing. He is so focused and engaged and present. I mean, and he just happens to be the president of the United <laughs> States <laughs> ta to talking, to, you know, talking to me, you know, from Palo Alto High School in Amarillo. So. And I did my research because I am a former reporter yeah. like you yeah. are. And I looked this up and this is the oldest and highest honor any teacher in the United States can receive. And I believe we have some great video of students of West Texas A&M honoring you. Let's take a look. 
Miss Peoples was the first teacher who believed in me that I could like, like get into those big schools and that I wasn't dumb. And for someone to believe in me when I didn't believe in myself at the time, that I could like achieve these goals, she also helped me find myself. As a person, she would use her gifts as a writer, as a teacher, and basically as a mother that I never had. I think she's an amazing person. I think she's a fantastic woman and somebody that all women can look up to. I think she's a great mother and I think more than anything, a fantastic educator and that's why she is where she is. Oh man, I've learned so much from her. She's just, she's amazing. Just the way that she interacts with the students. Everybody loves Shanna. It's kind of impossible not to. You love it? <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, it's crazy. Well, you know, going back, and I do want to end with the fact that, you know, you really are an inspiration. There's so many people I, I hear a lot saying it's just too late. I don't mm -hmm. have the time. I can't juggle everything. And, yeah. and you yeah. are the epitome of the example. What would you say to anybody out there that says, well, you know, maybe West Texas A&M would be good for me, but I just can't right now. I would say, you know, Eleanor Roosevelt says you have to do the thing that scares you because that's where the good stuff is. And it is scary. Reinvention is scary, but you can do it. And I, I say your dreams matter and you matter. I also noticed you have a beautiful necklace there. I have to yeah. just ask you, what is it? It says TY of 15. Teacher of the Year 2015. My family gave it to me for Christmas, so yeah. They must be so special. proud of you. Yes, very much. And you being that example, as all mothers want to be, to their yeah, children. They yeah. must look up to you and say, way to go, Mom. <laughs> well, you know, I think they probably do, uh, just not in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good Thank luck you. to you again. Thank congratulations. You. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And God bless you for that middle school and high school <laughs> calling that you have. <laughs> That's where my daughter is today. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, January is a great time to enroll, so log in to WTAMU.edu or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Coming up, financial hacks that will have you smiling all the way to the bank. Stay with us. Join Olga as she shares tips for your next road trip. What to take so you can make your adventure by car the most enjoyable and safe as possible. Now you know travel tips. Sponsored by TA and Petro Stopping Centers, Coast to Coast. Coming to Lifetime Television and The Balancing Act. It's morning TV made for a woman. Welcome back everybody. It's the new year and saving money tops your to-do list. No worries. Our next guest has got you covered. Thanks, Julie. Financial planning associate Daniela Ricaldone from Med Green and Associates is here and she's going to show us some great money saving life hacks. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. So I have a few questions regarding some tips and some advice. You ready? Yes. First one. I pack my lunch. A lot of people here do not. They go out they're spending a lot of money, right? Absolutely, and you would be surprised how much money they're actually spending. If you're averaging about $15 a day on eating out to lunch, oh my gosh. the annual savings right there will be 3,600. Just for packing your own lunch. All right, right, shopping online, can you really save there? Shop online and get free shipping, okay? Oh. This is a huge one. There's so many ways to save. You can use coupon codes, up to $450 in savings right there. That is so easy to do. All right, so what about credit cards? I sometimes think, well, I should just keep one. Maybe I should throw them all away. A lot of people just owe so much with that. Right, and you wanna stay away from cards with high interest, and you wanna look for the cards that offer cash back on purchases, anywhere from one to 5%, no annual fee, and sign up bonuses, and by the end of the year you can save up to $450. That's a lot of money there. Now here's one that I'm always curious about. Generic versus name brand. I'll go get something and I'll see there is a difference. I tend to grab the name brand. You can save with the generic. What do you say? Yes you can. You can save an average of 25% per item with generic and a family of four can save up to $1,100 per year. Wow. And then I guess the last one would be the best way to track, or track all these, uh, th these expenses, right? It helps. Absolutely. It helps to keep track of what you're spending, make sure you have a budget, use technology that's available these days, and make sure that you're just awake and aware and savvy. A little bit truly can go a long way, Daniela. Absolutely. And if you wanted to go on that vacation, you most certainly can by following these tips. Well, it's really true because we went through five tips and with these five alone, we have saved more than 
$5,000. That's amazing. $5,000 is a lot of money. It is, and it adds up, and you'd be so happy that you can have this extra money by the end of the year for a vacation or to put into your children's college fund. Just be smart about it and be savvy. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your tips. I appreciate it. And if you'd like more information on these money-saving life hacks and more, just log on to our website, thebalancingact.com. Every penny counts. I'll tell you, so many great ideas. Thanks, Olga. And coming up, satisfying a snack attack with healthier choices. Okay, admit it, we've become a nation of snackers, but as Olga discovered, that doesn't have to derail your plans to eat healthier. I love that sound. Throughout the day and sometimes night, we are snacking. We have become a nation of snackers. Now, most of us, it's said, an estimated 94% snack at least once a day. Wow, and half of us snack two to three times a day. Guilty. And then we wonder where the extra weight gain comes from. Well, if you're going to snack, be sure to grab the good stuff. And lucky for us, registered dietitian Heather Bauer is here to guide us for this new year, new you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Okay, guilty. I love to snack. Guilty. Confessions I, of a dietitian. Okay, there Same. you go. I don't know if it's at the time of month, when I was pregnant, when I'm nervous. For whatever reason, I'll pick up chips or maybe some veggies. That's what we do. You know, boredom is exhaustion. You know, for every other reason besides being hungry, we snack. And the children. My yes. daughters dance about 21 hours a week. They're always hungry. And totally. I get it. Yes. I mean, they're burning so many calories. Exactly. But they're always and sometimes not snacking on the right stuff. Right. That's where you come in because we have, to, we have to stay on the right track. How do we do that? You know, it's so important. We want to be good role models. You know, we want to we find, like, the best kinds of snacks. You know, one thing you want to really do is really be a strategic snacker mm -hmm. and pick healthy snacks. A strategic for, yes. snacker. And you want to really think about what kind of snack is going to take the longest, but also be portion controlled. Some of my favorite snacks include things like frozen grapes. I also like to take a Greek yogurt and stick it in the freezer because it takes a that. while to eat. You could take an apple, cut it up, and then get single serve packs of peanut butter. I also like taking an orange. You could freeze it and even put some cinnamon on it. You know, that, again, it's a fun snack, but it takes a lot longer to eat. And it's, it's great ways in terms of planning. Now, what if you just kind of want to get the bag one? Right. Because <laughs> everybody wants the bagged ones. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and those are not the most healthy, right? Exactly. I mean, well, there are the bagged versions, but the thing is, is that, you know, while we'd all love to have a garden in our backyard, I think busy people, busy moms, just like you and me, we don't always have time to have that garden and pick it every single day. So when you're looking at packaged products, you want to make sure you look for that organic seal, non-GMO stamp, but you also want to take a look at the ingredients. By looking at things like high quality healthy ingredients such as olive oil, for example, that's, that's rich in monounsaturated fat, it's heart healthy, antioxidants. You want to take a look at even avocado oil is another great one. You know, it's rich in unsaturated fats. Even sweet potatoes, for example, could be in the ingredient, but that's rich in vitamin C and um, other, other nutrients as well. So taking a look at those ingredients and making sure that you're getting the most out of them is a great way to go when you're food shopping. And you have a great spread for us this morning that really, yes. really gives us great options out there. What was it again? What was that the, 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 the double S word you gave me? Strategic snacking. Strategic yes. snacking. Yes. Alliteration. So, All right, so, so let's good. have some strategic so good. Snack, snacking so, lessons. You know, when you think about snacks, you want to take, you want to think about not only the nutrition, but you also want to think about the sodium and the calories and all those other parts of it as well. So, you know, take a look at popcorn, right? We've all heard about fiber. What is fiber important for? It's important because it helps us stay full. It helps us stay regular. Well, popcorn is a really good source of fiber. But the other beauty of good health popcorn is that it's low in calories. Oh, you know, you awesome. could have one cup is only 25 calories. One cup? Five cups, 120 calories. And the whole bag? The whole bag, you know, it's like 220 <laughs> calories. So if you want to go crazy, you know, this this one right here, you know, it's just a hint of olive oil. So again, you get that olive oil, which is rich in the heart healthy mono and Good health fat. popcorn. Let me try it's this. It's so good. I'll try it too. Mm. It's good, right? I love that. And you know what? It just satisfies the crunch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you could portion that and put it in single serve bags, or you could go crazy and eat a, a larger volume bit. This one has flavor. That one, this one is the buffalo version. So that mm. gives you a nice little kick. So that I like doing that too. Sometimes I'll put my own hot sauce on this one, but if you want more of a kick of popcorn, that's a great way to mm, go. That was nice. Now, some people are concerned about sodium, right? Um, I'm not, but I know some people but are. But some people are. Now, apple chips is a great way to get your apple in when you can't get an apple. These are Washington State apples, okay? Great. Good health apple chips. 
but they're very low in sodium, but they're also high in vitamin C. So it's a good way to get both of those in one. What a great idea. Right? And my kids are really not an apple a day kind of girls. So but that's this a good way to get their apple could in. Could be a great option. And a chip. Now, okay, I got my eye on okay. this. So these are, <laughs> these are the amazing veggie straws. You know, we have all sorts of different ones. There's veggie chips, veggie straws. The really amazing thing about these is that they're a lot lower in fat than potato chips. So you get less fat, but you also get all those nutrients. You know, you've got broccoli and spinach and tomatoes and peppers. And with all, a little jalapeno You know, this one's got the it. little jalapeno spice, so you get a nice little kick. It's also good for your metabolism. Oh gosh, so these are really good. They're really good, but again, less fat than potato chips, but you're getting your nutrition in for you and for your kids, which is really great. And you know really what? Great. And you're satisfying a little snack desire right, that you exactly. have in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night. Exactly, which is such an important thing when we have that craving, right? I love this. And now, finally, these chips? we've got these chips, but they're, are, they're different. They've got a little different kick to it. You know, we've got olive oil chips, which, you know, is really great, again, for those unsaturated, healthy fats that are, you know, good for our heart. But we also have avocado chips, which are really popular. Avocados are rich in omega-3s, unsaturated fats. So again, you're getting really good nutrition while you're eating your potato chips, which is, you know, it's always more fun when you can enjoy being healthy. I right? love it. With good health, you stay healthy. Exactly. Where can That's our viewers separate. go for more information? They on can go to goodhealthsnacks.com. Goodhealthsnacks.com. Yeah. This was absolutely perfect for our new year, new you. New snacks. Yes, so delicious. And I got to tell you, they're wonderful, but I got, mm, I'm going to, this go for my, one more, go for one more. So good. It's always more fun when you can enjoy being good. With strategic snacking. With strategic snacking, that's right. Thank you very much. Happy Thank New you. Year. Happy New Year, thanks for having me. And for more information on healthier snacks, visit goodhealthsnacks.com or our website, thebouncingact.com. Happy snacking. Awesome. Now you know, travel tips. When it's time for a road trip, it's time for a lot of fun and adventure. You know, getting together with family, friends, making memories that will last a lifetime. But the key, and I say it again, the key to any successful road trip is preparation. So what are some smart things to take along on your next road trip? Let's take a look. One of the most important items to have is a first aid kit. You never know when a bandage, antibiotic ointment, moleskin pads, aspirin, even rubbing alcohol will come in handy. Water seems pretty basic, so take plenty along. Stay hydrated, it'll keep you alert and feeling good. And don't forget snacks to munch on to keep you rolling along, and of course, a flashlight. Things do happen at night. And speaking of night, taking a blanket can keep your loved ones warm, or it can let them catch a snooze or two. And let's not forget the car. How about some basic tools? Screwdriver, wrench, pliers, socket set. These can really save you an expensive repair or just get you back on the road. Check tire inflation before you leave and during the trip. Make sure you have a tire gauge too, a calibrated, accurate one. And always check that oil before you leave. Simply locate the dipstick, it's this, and see if it reads full. Running low on oil or anything, stop into a travel center along the way and pick up what you need to get you back on the road. And most of all, have fun and drive safe. Bye. Now you know travel tips. Sponsored by TA and Petro Stopping Centers, Coast to Coast. Refuel, replenish, refresh. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Remember, check out our website and Facebook page, too. That's right. And don't forget, new year, new you. See you next time.